OK, so today we're going to look at an app which allows you to uninstall programs. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, Windows already has an uninstaller. But what makes this different is it not only does it look for leftovers and cleans up extras from the program, but also it allows you to batch uninstall. So you can uninstall many programs in one go without having to sit there and keep clicking uninstall. It also allows unattended uninstallations as well, meaning you don't have to confirm that you want to uninstall it. It answers all the questions for you. So stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this uninstaller, a great little uninstaller, it was developed by the developer because he tested out other uninstallers and he just basically found that a lot of them didn't uninstall everything. They didn't work as well as he wanted. So he thought, I'll tell you what, let's make my own uninstaller. Let's use the other uninstallers out there, use them as an example and basically make an app which pulls up where other uninstallers fall short. So let's have a look at the key features of this app. So for one, it allows batch uninstalling many apps at the same time. It supports unattended uninstallation of apps. It also, if you install it, supports monitoring of new software installations. It also detects portable apps and previously uninstalled software leftovers, shows all the data added to your system by uninstalled software or on a file by file basis shows all the data it will remove before starting the uninstallation. You can filter and search the list of installed software. It supports Windows dark mode. It supports Windows 11, 10, 8, 8.1 and 7. Comes in a variety of languages and also has a single executable portable version and a normal setup version. So the portable version, which I'm going to show you today, means that you don't actually have to install it on your system. You can just download it, run it and then delete it. And the big thing about this is uninstaller is freeware, lightweight and easy to use. No bells and whistles, no nonsense. So let's have a look at it in action. OK, so first of all, we can show app types there so we can filter it. We can if we want to, we can show normal apps, Microsoft Store apps, portable apps, Windows built in apps, Windows components, Windows updates, all these different types of apps here we can select. Or if we want to, we can filter apps so we can say, right, don't list anything from Microsoft that is listed by de default. Don't list any software that occupies less than 10 megabytes or only list software that was installed in the last seven days. We can sort by name, by A to Z by Z to A, largest first, smallest first, age newest, age oldest. So if we wanted to look at, see what was occupying the most amount of space on here, we could sort by largest first. And as you can see here, Android Studio is taking up the most, closely followed by iTunes. And then we've got Adobe Acrobat. If we want to, we can search by a certain search term. So say, for instance, if we was looking for anything that was Adobe, then we can type in there Adobe. And as you can see here, it just lists anything by Adobe. Or alternatively, if we wanted to hide certain apps, say if we didn't want to uninstall anything that was Adobe, or didn't want anything listed that was Adobe, then again, we can just type in Adobe there. It filters out anything with the word Adobe. In it. Going down further, we've got fix there. So this means this is searched discrepancies with installed apps. They can be cleaned up if you want to. Now, I would say be very, very careful with this. This could be meddling with the registry. If it's showing any apps that you do want to keep in here, then I would perhaps say avoid this. I haven't tested this myself yet. I'm sure it's perfectly OK. But 
as in all of these uninstaller apps, sometimes they can get it wrong and you could end up having to reinstall software or worse still, reinstall Windows. So use this with absolute caution. If we go on to monitor now, so if you're installing an app and you want it to monitor what it's doing, then click on monitor before you start the install. And there you go, it says you can now install any new software An uninstaller will automatically detect the new data it adds to your computer. So it means that it, it will check to see what's being added to the computer. So it's got an accurate record of what to remove if you do want to remove it later on. So generally, I would say use this if you install the setup version rather than the portable version, because I'm not sure how the portable version is going to handle this. So the next thing here is uninstall. So what we can do here is I've got a few things I want to uninstall from uh, from this. So I want to uninstall 7-Zip. I want to uninstall Adobe Acrobat. I want to get rid of AnyDesk, Atlas VPN. This is good if you've just bought a computer and they've loaded it up with rubbish and you want to get rid of it. Or if you bought a secondhand computer and you think, I don't, really don't need all these things, you can uninstall this with, with one click. So I'm just going to go through here and uninstall the bits that I don't want. iTunes, I've selected all the stuff that I don't want. And then what I can do is I can click uninstall. So it says, warning, you're attempting to uninstall software which seem relating to other software that you've chosen not to install. You've chosen to uninstall Adobe Acrobat 64-bit, but the software seems to be relating to Adobe Acrobat Reader, which you have chosen not to uninstall. If you proceed, please spend extra time confirming the listed data to avoid unwanted data from being removed. Are you sure you wish to continue? So I'm just going to cancel that for the moment. So let's just have a look. So Adobe Acrobat. Oh, yeah, I see there. I've got Adobe Acrobat Reader as a Microsoft Store app. Well, I'm quite happy to leave that there. So let's just click uninstall again. And this time I'm going to say, yes, I want to continue. And here it's going to confirm all the different things that it's going to uninstall and the files that it's going to uninstall. So, yep, that's fine. I'm going to start uninstall. And it's also given us an option here to automatically close all running programs to perform the uninstallation, automatically reboot the computer to finalize the uninstallation. So, yep, let's just do that. And up the top there, it's confirming all the stuff that I've selected to remove. So let's go start uninstallation. So it says you're about to uninstall 7-Zip, Adobe Acrobat, AnyDisk, Atlas VPN, Free File Sync, iTunes. Please note that uninstaller does not create any backups. This is your final confirmation. Have you carefully reviewed the list of data to be removed and wish to start uninstallation? All running software will be automatically closed. This is recommended. However, if you don't want this to happen, you can uncheck automatically close all running programs to perform the in uninstallation option. After the uninstallation is complete, the computer will be restarted. This is recommended. However, if you don't want the computer to be restarted, you can uncheck the automatically reboot the computer to finalize the uninstallation option. Well, I'm going to leave this ticked because if it's going to close down all programs, then that's great because there's nothing there that can interfere with the uninstallation. And quite often when you uninstall something, it does want to reboot the computer after anyway. So I'm going to leave that ticked. So I'm going to say yes to that. So click yes. OK, so now it's going through and it's now uninstalling all the software that I've asked it to uninstall. Now, this can take some time because there is quite a bit that I've asked it to uninstall. And some of those programs are quite large. So as you can see now, it's saying that it's uninstalling Adobe Acrobat 64 bit. What I would say is when uninstalling please be very, very patient with it. Don't try and turn this off. So now it's, there you go, it's moved on to Atlas VPN. It's now uninstalling that. So please be patient with it. Don't be tempted to try and interrupt it because you could cause problems with your system if you do try and interrupt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video, going to let all these things uninstall, and we're going to come back to it in a little while to see how we're getting on. Okay, so the computer is now restarting. 
And there we are, the computer's now restarted. So let's just have a look and see, make sure that it's got rid of all that we wanted. Everything I wanted has been removed. So the big question is, how do you get it? So open up your browser, go to the address bar at the top of the screen and type in there, uninstall.com. So that's a slightly misspelled uninstaller. U-N-I-N-S-T-A-L-R dot com. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed in the correct address there, you should see this screen here. Click on start download. And then you want to click, if you, if you don't want to keep it on your system, click to download the portable version just there. That will then download. Once it's downloaded, it's only a small file. Go into your downloads folder and then double click uninstaller portable just there click on yes and then it will search for installed software it said it can take a few minutes please wait so don't skip this it's just trying to find out what's installed on your computer and then you can go through and uh, you can uninstall the software so there you go i hope you like this video and if you did if you found it helped please consider making a donation to this channel by hitting that thanks button or if you're in the market for a new vpn or want to have a look through my amazon shop or you're looking for a fire tv stick fire tv cube or fire stick accessories then we've got some great links in the description down below take a look at those buying subscribing and donating really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to spend more time researching and bringing you these great videos and whilst you're at my youtube channel why not stick around i've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you're going to find something to educate you entertain you amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money and whilst you're here if you see anything you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like to see then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines if you want to check me out on x formerly known as twitter you can find me at cwtek or if you want to have a look at my website it's cwtek.co.uk thanks for watching and speak to you again soon